welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and I'm self-converting my Ram Pro Master to live, travel, and work in full time on the road. In today's video, I will show you how I installed my solid sliding door window from Van Windows Direct. Before getting started with the installation, I'm going to share why I chose to install a window, some common brands, and also common styles you can choose from in the market today. Personally, I chose to install the window on the sliding door for more natural light so that my van would feel more like a home and less like a metal box and also to give me a better vision of my surroundings and views. And my last reason is it's going to help with my blind spot. There have been times where I've been at an intersection and I've been on a stop sign and oncoming traffic from my right doesn't have to stop. They're also coming from an angle that's not straight on for a clear vision on my front right door. So having this sliding door window will help me see my blind spot a lot better at those difficult intersections. The only con of installing another window is going to be less privacy and less insulation. So to combat this, I will be having a curtain and insulated window covers. Some common brands that you can purchase windows from includes Van Windows Direct, which is where I got my solid sliding door window. Motion windows, where I got my bunk windows, and also CR Lawrence. Some common window styles includes a solid window, a venting window with a screen, a push-out window, and also a T-styled window. With that, let's get started with the installation. Here are the products and tools you will need. The big foam structure is my window itself. Then we have Rust-Oleum Stop Rust Clean Metal Primer and Protective Enamel with a flathead screwdriver to open the cans, a stir and foam brush, a metal file, Bosch T118B jigsaw blades to cut into metal, an expo marker and pencil for tracing, painter's tape for protection, a caulking gun, which will need a 12 to 1 thrust ratio at the least, ideally a 26 to 1 thrust ratio, a straight edge, securing tape, window trim, safety glasses, Sikaflex, primer, and dabbers, a jigsaw blade, a sheet or towel to catch metal shavings when cutting, drill and drill bits, measuring tape, Windex, microfiber cloth, a broom, vacuum, and ladder. When looking at the sliding door on the inside of your van, you will see this original manufacturer line. This is where you will be drilling pilot holes and cutting the hole for your window. Using a drill, make pilot holes around the entire perimeter of the manufacturer line so you know where to trace and cut on the outside of the van. Personally, I put more holes in the corners so I could get the curve right when cutting. I would recommend holding a vacuum with one hand and drilling with the other so you can catch as many metal shavings as possible. On the outside of the van, use a straight edge and pencil to connect the pilot holes so you know where to cut with the jigsaw. Then apply painter's tape around your trace line to prevent the jigsaw from scratching your van and to provide a better visual when cutting. Also, add painter's tape to the bottom of your jigsaw for added protection. Before cutting, tape up a sheet or towel to the inside of your van to catch metal shavings created by the jigsaw. Safety glasses, always. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the next step, but you will want to use a drill and a drill bit to make holes in the four corners. The holes will have to be large enough to fit your jigsaw blade in. Using the jigsaw, Cut along your trace line. Add tape to your cuts as you go to prevent vibrating. Don't baby the trigger as this may cause the blade to skip around and potentially scratch or dent the exterior of your van. <laughs> Using a metal file, clean up the edge free of any sharp pieces. Once the edge is cleaned up, apply Rust-Oleum Stop Rust Clean Metal Primer to the cut. I find it easiest to apply it with a foam brush. Also, I kept the painter's tape up to catch any drips that may happen in the process. Once that is dry, apply the Rust-Oleum Stop Rust Protective Enamel. Again, I'm using a foam brush and leaving that painter's tape up for added protection. While that was drying, I took off the painter's tape and cleaned the entire van free of metal shavings. So make sure once you're done cutting, drilling pilot holes and cutting that giant hole out of the sliding door that you do your very best to clean up those little metal shavings because even the tiniest one will cause rust. I went ahead and used a broom, a vacuum, and a microfiber cloth with some all-purpose cleaner and went around everything to clean it up. You don't want to just do it right here where the door is and the entrance is because as your van's vibrating when you're cutting, shards can be flying in other directions of your van. So really go through the entire van and clean it really well 
One spot I did miss and I just came across and there was some small rust starting to form was on the inside right here when the sliding door is open. Really important call out right here. Check, make sure you clean really thoroughly in this crack um, so that no rust forms down the road. Using Windex and a microfiber cloth, I clean the edge of the door where the window will be going before proceeding. Next, apply the trim with a rubber or a wooden mallet to the cut edge. You will see this trim needs to fit over two pieces of metal that are slightly separated. Once you get back to where you started the trim, you'll need to cut through the rubber and thin piece of metal on the interior of the trim. Be sure not to leave a gap between the start and the finish. Again, using Windex and a microfiber cloth, clean up the edge of the window before we go ahead and put the window on permanently. Okay, so after you went ahead and cleaned up around the edge on your van, you're going to be applying this primer that they send you, the Van Windows Direct Primer. They also send you a dabber to put it on, and you're gonna wanna do it an inch away from the trim and try to make it one continuous loop all the way around the window. So they say that you only need to do one circle. Anything more than that is really just a waste of material, but I really want to make sure this sticks well. So I am gonna put a line on both sides. All right, so you gotta give it 10 minutes to dry, and then after that we can go ahead and apply the Sikaflex. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to spray down the window and clean both sides before applying it just to make sure it's nice and clean. So after the primer is dried, you're gonna be putting on this Sikaflex that comes with the window. You can purchase it through the same company. Um, you are going to need a caulking gun with a 26 to one ratio. So something strong enough because this stuff is really thick. So it's hard to push it out of the container. And then the other thing to know is there is a V cut. I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not, but there is a V on the top of this that you need to cut along those lines so that when you're applying the bead to the window, it has that nice shape all the way through. Poke a hole with the top, screw the top on, cut the tip off down to the start of the V, then cut along those two diagonal V lines. So when you're applying it, you want this V cut that you made to be facing upward. So you're going to be applying it like this. You're going to be applying it right on top of this primer that you just put on. When applying the Sikaflex, the bead consistency is key. Thicker and thinner spots can lead to leakage. So try to make it one continuous and even bead all the way around. Now it's time to stick the window to the glue. A few things to note, the window is very light, but I'd recommend having a second person to help you line the window up evenly on both sides. Start by lining up the bottom edge, then tilting the window up into place. Secondly, the glue is super strong. So as soon as the window touches, it is hard to move and you don't have to worry about it falling. Thirdly, the window will have a slight gap between the body of the vehicle and the glass. Once the window is in place, apply securing tape for added peace of mind to hold the window up when it is drying. The window needs at least three hours of dry time before driving and three days of dry time before washing the vehicle with water or any types of solutions. Well, I hope you found this video to be a helpful resource in giving you the confidence on how to install your own sliding door window. Tune into my next video where I will be installing my sound ending. Until then, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.